humans and cats have a long history. The unique relationship between them is almost 10,000 years old. In ancient Egypt, cats were venerated and even mummified. Temples were erected to worship cat gods. But how did cats, big and small, evolve? The earliest fossils of the first real cat belong to a medium-sized predator called Sudalerus that lived in Asia 11 million years ago. Experts believe that it was the progenitor of all modern cats. The first group split from this cryptic cat 10.8 million years ago, later forming the Panthera genus, which includes animals like the lion, tiger, and leopard. Around 9 million years ago, unusually low sea levels, almost 60 meters below modern levels, meant that land bridges were formed, consequently connecting continents, which facilitated the migration of animals. During this time, descendants of the first real cat migrated to Africa in what is considered the first intercontinental migration. This gave way to the Caracal genus, forming African cats like the Caracal. While Asian cats migrated to Africa, they also crossed the Bering Land Bridge to North America. As sea levels rose again, continents were separated and new species evolved. By now, cats spread across Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. More migrations followed with the receding of oceans, giving birth to cat species like the ocelot, lynx and puma in America. Around 12,000 years ago, during the last ice age, ice sheets covering Canada and the northern tier of America melted. The landscape was transformed into the forested grassland prairies of North America. Then the Pleistocene extinctions happened. During an interval of about 2,000 years, over 30 species of large mammals vanished. Nearly 75% of large animals, including mammoths, disappeared from North America. However, animals like cheetahs managed to escape extinction because their ancestors crossed over to Asia when sea levels were low. During the same time, the progenitors of the leopard cat and domestic cat crossed from North America to Asia too. Thereafter, the leopard cat lineage produced smaller cat species in Asia, like the rusty spotted cat. Big cats like tigers also spread throughout Asia. Whereas in the Himalayas, snow leopards thrived in high elevations. Leopards also spread in Africa alongside lions. Jaguars found a refuge in South America, with over 50% living in Brazil alone now. Today, it's generally considered that there are 37 cat species in the world. Sri Lanka, located south of India, is home to four wild cats. The country boasts a dazzling range of habitats and ecosystems. Its wildlife is equally impressive. Charismatic animals like Asian elephants are quite easy to see. But what about the elusive wild cats? The fishing cat is discontinuously distributed in northern and southeast Asia. Found in countries like India, Nepal and Bangladesh, it's found in all climatic zones in Sri Lanka, especially where there is a water source. Wetlands, rivers and mangroves are the preferred habitat of this feline but they are found in urban areas too. This fishing cat is a cub. It hasn't reached its full size yet. 
fully grown fishing cats are the second largest wild cat in Sri Lanka. And sometimes they're mistaken for juvenile leopards. Unlike most cats, these elusive felines prefer to live near water. And there's a reason for that. With partially webbed paws and sharp claws, it waits patiently. Large eyes help to catch prey below water. Their diet mostly consists of fish, though it will eat amphibians and water-associated reptiles. Fishing cats were once thought to be common, but with the destruction of wetlands, their habitat has rapidly dwindled. For the past 12 million years, the basic anatomy of the cat has remained unchanged. Most felines have a similar structure. Their physical characteristics are fine-tuned to a predatory lifestyle. Though there are anatomical variations, most felines function the same way. Aided by soft toe pads that muffle their sounds, they carefully stalk or ambush prey. Though felines have the lowest number of teeth, they have a strong bite. Specialized teeth are made for seizing, ripping and tearing through flesh. Even their tongues have thorny projections that help remove meat from bones. The jungle cat has a relatively broad but sporadic distribution. Found in countries like India, Bangladesh and Myanmar, it's normally found at elevations below 1,000 meters. In Sri Lanka, they are mostly seen in dry zone forests and even near towns. Jungle cats also dwell close to cultivated land, artificial wetlands and forest plantations. During the day, they conceal themselves, waiting to hunt under the cover of darkness. With nightfall, they become active. Cultivated lands have a dense rodent population, and jungle cats aren't picky eaters. They'd happily consume whatever they can catch. Solitary hunters, they are known to catch birds in flight by leaping into the air. But, like the fishing cat, their habitat is threatened too. Cats are true carnivores. More than other animals, cats require more protein. Hence, meat, skin and bone form a large part of their diet, almost exclusively. Millions of years ago, the ancestors of modern cats became exclusive meat eaters. Rewinding back 65 million years ago, following the extinction of dinosaurs, when oceans and continents were similar to the maps of today, Primitive creatures called myocids roamed the planet. Experts believe that all carnivores evolved from this small-bodied creature. They lived in dense forests, stalking prey from the trees. Later on, myocids evolved into other predators. Twelve million years later, feline evolution formed the ultimate predator. The rusty spotted cat has a restricted global distribution in India and Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, it has been recorded in all climatic zones and forest types, even close to suburban areas. Rusty spotted cats inhabit a vast range of habitats, including dry zone scrublands and montane forests. Out of all four wild cats in Sri Lanka, it's the most elusive and rarest. Little is known about this small feline. Its ways are still a mystery, and there's no definitive count as to how many of them live in the wild. Though small, this cat has a reputation as a fierce fighter. Even though its size causes predation, millions of years of evolutionary adaption has made it an adaptable feline with the ability to survive among large predators. 
make no mistake, the rusty spotted cat is an aggressive hunter too. But their population is rapidly declining in Sri Lanka. Predation is the way of life in the wild. Without predators, the prey population would escalate to the point where space and food would be scarce. Near agricultural land, wildcats would often prey on rodents, helping farmers in their crops. Felines are made to hunt. Most wildcats have a spotted coat pattern. This helps them to blend with their surrounding and approach prey undetected. Cats are mostly solitary and they use various methods to communicate. Large cats are known for their ability to roar. In fact, the ability to roar is the difference between big cats and small cats. Big cats, such as lions, have a non-ossified hyoid bone in the larynx that enables them to roar. Small cats don't have this luxury. Among terrestrial mammals, the leopard has one of the widest global distributions. Currently, there are eight recognized subspecies of leopard. In Sri Lanka, leopards are distributed in all climatic zones and even outside national parks. However, leopards have vanished from over 50% of their historic range in Asia. They are mostly seen in the national parks of Sri Lanka. Here, with lack of competition from other predators, the leopard is on top of the food chain. Due to lack of competition, local leopards are less arboreal, even though resting in trees is an enjoyable activity. Unlike African leopards, who often have to stash their kill in trees and consume it away from preying eyes, Sri Lankan leopards are bolder and relatively relaxed. In national parks, they are the major attraction. A safari wouldn't be complete without spotting a leopard. However, in a human-dominated landscape, the leopard faces major threats due to poaching and being inadvertently killed in snares meant for other animals. But where did this conflict really start? Our ancestors, who evolved in Africa, and wild cats lived in daily contact for thousands of years. During these early times, we were mostly preyed upon by spotted hyenas or leopards. Prehistoric leopards were one of our foremost killers. The hapless hominids had to scavenge for food from predators which pitted them in competition with fearsome felines. But as our evolution progressed through the Homo erectus lineage, and especially with the advent of tools, the game changed. Large animals were hunted by our ancestors. Thus the tables turned and we became the dominant predator. The arrival of hunter-gatherers and human civilizations signaled the beginning of the end. Later, during colonial times, felines were hunted with abandon. In Sri Lanka, lands were raised to make way for tea plantations and railroads for British colonists, ultimately destroying the habitat of not just felines, but other animals too. With 22 million people living in Sri Lanka, Coexistence between animals and humans is more imperative than ever before wildlife goes extinct. <laughs>